Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some boosted. We're playing La Shrock. I can't show you because uh, Dota is dead. Uh, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But we did manage to get a video at the very least. A bit of a short one today. Uh, that, you know, like it's, it's kind of difficult to get a longer video. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, anyway, uh, but yeah, so we're just kind of playing the shrug. We're playing the shrug because, of course, Stories of Dota published the Le Shrug video, which sounds a little weird. Sounds like I'm talking about something that I didn't make. So we have the Le Shrug video live now. It's good. It's really good. I really like it. Um, Stories of Dota link is down in the description if you want to check it out. It's just it's just the Dota video you might enjoy, right? I know that sometimes we have sponsors or shit like that where I tell you go check this out because they were paid for it, because they paid for it, right? Um, but that's not it. I just made a video. I think it's cool. I would like it if you want to watch it. Anyway, let's get into the game. Okay, so we got ourselves Le Shrug and we'll immediately start running. Immediately get ourselves... Uh, these bad boys here, the watches. Nice thing about Lashrak, look at how fast we are. Oh, look at how speedy this boy is. He got 325 base movement speed, 45 extra from the boots of speed, and now a 30 because it's nighttime, because for some reason that makes you run quicker. And then another 60, I suppose. And now a 83 because of the smoke on the table. Damn, that's a, that's a fast running boy. <laughs> it's got places to be. <laughs> Alright, so we've captured that. Uh, our primary thing, the main thing that I want to level up, the main thing that I really care about today, is gonna be uh, Pulse Nova. But we'll also get some of our other things, of course. But I just kind of, like, I want to lean into Pulse Nova. I think it's kind of a fun one. And uh, it's got damage resistance, which is pretty cool. Although, I want to get Radius up. I want to have the biggest Radius possible. Because massive Radius, just nobody's gonna be able to get close to us. We're going to be able to push freely because people just like literally cannot get near us without dying. That's the plan. Um, it's going to be kind of difficult. We're going up against Spirit Breaker, so we'll need to make time to fit uh, a Lincoln's because otherwise Spirit Breaker will just one shot us. But that's okay. Uh, other than that, though, it should be fine. I mean, we can even make our uh, Nihilism be permanent uh, and then uh, we don't need to worry about any physical damage anymore. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Wow. Uh, Desolation. Yeah. Alright, cool. Should be a kill. Nice. This is already taken. And then we'll get ourselves uh, more damage. We're not maxing out damage resistance yet because the damage resistance is a level 20 talent. So it's good, don't get me wrong. But it's got a cap of 60%, so we can't go to 100%, as fun as that would be. Um, and also, we won't have it for a while. So I, I think it's better to just kind of, you know, get the th things that will actually be useful at level 6. And, uh, yeah. Although, we'll get a rare. Oh, well, that's, that's alright. We will definitely pick up a rare. So anyway, anyway. Uh, oh. Go ahead and take this. Yeah, so the uh, Le Shark video is now on Stories of Dota. Uh, I had an annoying little thing that happened. The video was actually an hour later uploaded. At least I hope it was, because like right now I'm recording this before it was uploaded. Uh, but it was made public an hour later than it's uh, supposed to be. Because on the day of uploading it, I had everything ready. Everything was good to go, right? So I'm just like, okay, let me go ahead and start uploading it. So I log out of my YouTube account log into the other YouTube account, and I start uploading the video. I check it three hours later, it's done. Great. So I go into my dashboard to go ahead and make sure that it's all properly, you know, got proper titles, got proper thumbnail, and everything is good. And I can't find it. <laughs> it's just not there. And I'm just like, well, where is it? So I check my upload again, and no, the upload is done. And then uh, I'm just like, huh? What's going on here? So I check my upload again a bit more closely and I find the source of my troubles. Which is that apparently, yes, I had changed account. I had logged out of the one account, but... But, um... And then logged into the other. But I had stayed... I hadn't refreshed the tab that I was on where I uploaded the video. 
And then for some reason, because I hadn't refreshed that tab, despite being locked out everywhere else, that, um, that then still was connected to my other account and then uploaded to that. Uh, so now I had to upload it again. And now it's going to be a little late. But, oh, well. Uh, let's get some extra damage. That seems good. Get some even more damage. Hell yeah. Damage, damage, damage. I want to make sure we've got our big old ultimate going on. And yeah, when I said log out, I really mean switch account. I do just have a switch account, but, but like still. <laughs> The video got uploaded to the wrong account and YouTube annoyingly doesn't support stuff like just saying hey I uploaded this on the wrong account and we just swap it over to the other account. Nope. Gotta re-upload it from, from scratch because that's just how YouTube does things. Uh, kind of a nightmare honestly. YouTube is missing some really basic features. Like it's a little weird. Like for example something you can't do on YouTube is, is run uh, a video with two different thumbnails and then just see which one performs better. That's like the most basic standard shit you can do with advertisements, for example. There's just something that's also made by Google, like on AdSense from Google, just like YouTube from Google, um, you can just put two different ads and have them compete against each other and then see which one performs better. But not on YouTube. I don't really know why. It's a little weird, isn't it? All right, got this. One more? Nice. Double. I'm dead, right? I don't know. Save me, Io. <gasps> so close, but not quite. Alright, then. It was a good effort. I appreciate it. There wasn't really much we could do there. We got the kills. I think that's fine. They're currently implementing A-B testing. Select creators have access to it. Oh, that. I mean, that would be great. Because I've definitely had moments where we had, like, multiple thumbnails and we're just like, hmm, not sure which one to go with, all right? So you just kind of have to make a choice. And it's not like you can then later swap it. I mean, you can, but that's then you've already kind of missed your initial momentum, right? Like, then it's already too late. All right. Got two of them, good. Can we get the Spirit Breaker? Probably not. It's fine too. Honestly, that worked out nicely. We got him, right? Kind of crushing things a tad little bit. Well, it turns out just having a ton of damage on Pulse Nova is good. Who could have seen this coming? Yeah, I know. Wild stuff, right? But hey, I'm not gonna complain about it. Not gonna complain about it. Uh, explosions, damage. This one is nice because we'll later get ourselves the Pulse Nova Triggers Lightning Storm, uh, which seems good. And since this triggers on a random enemy in the Pulse Nova radius, uh, if we increase the radius of the Pulse Nova, we're also increasing that trigger. Sounds great. Right? Really nice stuff here. Big value things. Yes. Alright, hello. Dead. Oh! I mean, yeah, still dead, just not in the way that I thought. <laughs> that works. That works fine. What's coming on? It's coming over here. Thank you very much. Nothing. So we'll get ourselves Kaya and Sange, and then we'll grab ourselves the uh, uh, Lincolns afterwards. Because I do want to have a Lincolns just for the Spur Breaker, right? I don't want to get caught out by the Spur Breaker and then just kind of die instantly. Spur Breaker can do so much damage. Like, Spur Breaker can actually just instantly kill people. So we want to try and avoid that if at all possible. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Uh, Bloodstone. Yeah, good. Ah, that missed. Yeah. 
but like it's maybe okay. I don't know. This guy is hard to deal damage to. <laughs> Just drive by. Sure, take your time. Oh, and I'm out of mana. I'm out of mana. All right, goodbye. I'm leaving. I am done. Clearly, we're not getting this one. You can have, you can have your life and escape with it. I will not be able to stop you. Because we do need mana, unfortunately. More radius, though. Thank you. Yes. That's the one I care the most about. Give me radius. 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 And, uh, ooh. Okay, so we do need our ultimate. Ah, uh, sorry, our agonims. Am I dead? Probably, right? I mean, I'm trying to heal, but, like, odds are low, right? No, I mean, at this stage, we're probably fine, actually. I mean, we're full HP, yeah. So, like, now it's fine, but I was a bit worried. <laughs> All right, then. Let's just kind of keep going. We'll move around over here. Thank you very much. And uh, get more damage. That sounds good, yeah. Get more, get more damage as well. Although we are getting to damage resistance. We are getting to level 20. So uh, if I could get that upgrade, I should probably need to... I should probably try to max that out now hello wow you're fast maybe a little too fast don't you think <laughs> maybe a little too fast for your own good right there oh nice you're fine sick uh, let me get my agonim's shard so we get ourselves that echo and 20 percent damage reduction during pulse snowba so now we're nice and tanky all right we got one I don't think I can do this, but I will try. Oh, that was so close. Oh, hello. <laughs> I do think a little too fast for your own good. Because it seems to me like the Phoenix just kind of keeps using it and then can't respond to the speed and can't cancel it. So, uh, well, unfortunate right there, but hey, I'm happy about it. So, uh, we will grab ourselves an Aghanim Scepter next. And maybe we can actually say hello to Roshan. I don't know if we're strong enough, but I wouldn't be surprised. So, you can see we've got this maxed out now. So, I'll just delete it. No, we're plenty strong. Never mind. I, was, I don't know why I was even worried, honestly. It's just Roshan, you know, he's a big boy. I feel like you gotta be a little intimidated by Roshan, just out of respect. All is chaos. To be honest, I feel like... <laughs> maybe controversial opinion. Roshan is actually kind of a wiener, right? Like, I can't think of a point in time in Dota history where Roshan was ever looked upon as, like, a genuine, oh my god, he's so powerful, oh, he's so scary kind of threat. Right? Roshan has always just been like, eh, yeah, we'll kill him pretty early. We gotta get ourselves some money. I mean, they were literally strats that just killed Roshan at level 1. I don't know. It's just, he's just always been a bit of a wiener. Roshan the wiener. Well, Spur Breaker just charging around. Is Spur Breaker just getting all the kills? No. But like a couple of them. Hello. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's pretty good, I guess. Oh, hello. You can tank me. For a little while, at least. And then you TP out. <laughs> well, you just kind of walked in, though, buddy. I mean, like, I, di I didn't even do anything there. <laughs> I didn't even have any impact on that situation. That was all you, my friend. 
So, let's go keep walking around. Maybe we can bonk into somebody and take him down with our AoE damage. Oh. <laughs> I'm killing something. <laughs> this is just regular Roshan from Dota 2, if I'm completely honest. Oh, hello, Phoenix. Still zooming a little quickly, aren't we? Increase that radius. Increase the radius. Where's the spur breaker? There you are. Nice. Uh, lightning strikes. So this currently hits 11 targets, right? Which is enough. I think that seems like enough, right? So I'll just get more damage here. Uh, you might think I should get the Diabolic Edict damage, but that one is a lie. It just doesn't work. It, like, literally doesn't do anything. So, uh, yeah. So we don't need to get that one. Uh, let's reduce the mana per second a little bit more. It's just so I've got maximum, maximum uptime on that, right? And then we come in. <clears throat> oh, hello. I'm just, just kind of going to chase you down. I mean, honestly, it's not really chasing down so much at this point as it is, like, letting, letting them die. Hello. All right. Got him. Wasn't there a bird? I mean, I'm guessing the bird has a pretty big range. Oh my god. <laughs> Talking about big range. Oh dear. And come on, we can get him, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that sure is Le Shrock. So be it. Yeah. You know, it's like the funny thing about this hero. He's simple. He doesn't really do very much at all. But turns out the things he does is really all you need to be successful. He really just has AoE damage and some disables. Three out of his four abilities are just AoE damage. But yeah, no, turns out that's really all you need. <laughs> what else could you possibly want other than AoE damage? Nice. They want duration on this, I guess. I don't know. Nine second duration, why not? Such We've got some money. Dis what do we even buy? Just a heart? Probably just a heart, right? Like, we just need to stay alive. I kill things for being next to me. And they don't even have to be particularly close to me. <laughs> they just have to be, like, loosely in the area. 1,500 AoE damage now. Imagine winning TIs by just existing. Oh, yeah. Honestly, TI-5 Le Shrug is still one of the wildest things I've ever seen. Like, this is maybe a bit of a spoiler for the video. But I am firmly convinced that TI-5 Le Shrug was so overpowered that the player base just kind of said, this is just him. This is just who Les Shrug is. This, who, this is who he's always going to be. And he's never going to change again because why would somebody need to change away 
from what what he is because what he is is perfect he is so incredibly strong so the shrug was a good hero before ti5 and mostly played as a support actually and then at ti5 he became a carry and then at ti6 despite only the carry build being nerfed people just didn't even try him as a support anymore <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. The only explanation I have for that, the only reason why Le Shrug wasn't wasn't played anymore after TI5 is because people were just like, well, if he's not going to be a mid, then what's even the point of picking him? And it's like, wait, did you guys forget like the previous four years of support Le Shrug just being an absolute god? Like most picked hero of TI2? Like, come on now. Could he rank the three most of heroes at TI? No. I don't know enough about that yet. I have only done my research on the, the heroes that I've done videos about, right? And I can't tell you what are the three most OP heroes. Like, for example, I initially assumed that Io would be one of the strongest, right? That, like, I would say, well, Io is by far the most picked, so Io gotta be the strongest hero of all time. But I've actually changed my, uh, my mind on that. I don't even... I, I, I sincerely doubt Io is the, in the top three. And it's not because Io was bad. Io was excellent. But Io was excellent in the way where it was just kind of like easy to pick Io. Right? Like you just, like it's fine. You just pick Io. You just don't know what to pick. Just pick Io. You just don't know, don't, don't have a clear strategy. Don't have a clear plan. Just, just pick Io. He'll handle it. It'll handle it. Sorry. And it's just kind of like, hmm. I mean, like, yeah. That's certainly strong, but he, it, it never really felt that overpowering, unless, you know, TI-9. But uh, then you have heroes like the Shock, where I just think this dude is just fucking insane. <laughs> just fucking insane. <laughs> I am, I think it's difficult to rank, like, what are the three best heroes. And I would need a lot more time. I would need to do a lot more research into a lot of lot of other characters. Because, like, Morphling I'm interested in. Nux Assassin I'm really interested in. Like, Nux Assassin is a character that may not, <laughs> may not immediately strike you as, like, a candidate for greatest of all time. Uh, but Nux Assassin has, like, a solid 400-ish picks at TI. Which is great. That's really, really good. I'm just, yep, no, that's just, this is literally just normal the shark from Dota 2. Nyx Assassin's got, like, really great pick rate, like, totally solid pick rate. And then, above 60% win rate. I think it's 61% win rate. Which is absurd. That is so high. Hello. So, uh, not entirely sure what to make of that information. <laughs> I'll just kind of like sit here, I guess. Alright. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, this was kind of a massacre, wasn't it? Oh, turns out the Shrek is good. Turns out he's powerful. Nice. Something that I definitely want to do, and this may sound silly, but like, honestly, one of the reasons why I want to kind of like keep going with Stories of Dota for a while, until at least I've done all of the like really top tier heroes, because I want to make fucking tier lists. I want to make top 10 strongest heroes in the moment. Where What I mean with that is like the strongest Dota heroes at any given patch. Right? Like when we say the strongest Dota hero of all time. I think there's two ways you can interpret it. Where one of them is like, okay, who has been the best performing across the board, across all tournaments. But then you can, like that's one way. Or the other way you could think about it is, who has been the best, the strongest at one given tournament. Right? Is TI9 IO stronger than TI5 Le Shrug? Who knows? But I sure would like to, to talk about it. <laughs> God damn, this was filthy. 
Wow, 35 in one. Yeah. Yes. That. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, I guess that's just kind of a shock for you, right? That's what you can expect. Um, so yeah, let me like, is this? What is this? No, that's weird. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That was just a random scene. I don't know what that scene is. I uh, will just go to this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A bit of a short one today, but I actually, I'm kind of running a little low on time today. So I think it was fine. I think we had a, a fun time just kind of running around with a shrug and nuking down everybody that gets near us, right? If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.